Um, it is that time of year. Uh, I'm sure you can tell from just watching your TV and going out without shopping. Uh, we're celebrating the holidays here at the Secretary of State's office with our holiday tree that features uh, ornaments that represent the employees of the executive staff and then other things that are important to me or this office. That's why the 4-H symbol is up there. You'll find international uh, gifts up here representing international countries since we do a lot of international here. And things that represent the state of North Carolina. Uh, here's our state seal. And uh, it's just a lot of fun to celebrate the folks that make this office successful and the things that we do. You're going to be spending hopefully some time with your family. It's time to have some important conversations around the holiday seasons when families get together. There's something that our Secretary of State's office does that involves notaries that I'd like to point out to you and maybe have you get a little bit more familiar with it. It's called Advanced Healthcare Directives. If you go to the website, sosnc.gov, and look on the Advanced Healthcare Directives site, you will see that we provide the forms for four different types of documents that are important to everybody no matter what stage or age in life that they are. One of them is commonly called the Living Will. That is the um, Advanced Healthcare Directive that people are most familiar with. The other is the Donor uh, Card. The other is a Mental Health Power of Attorney or a Healthcare Power of Attorney. It's important that notaries look at the one on the uh, what we commonly call the living will, because there are certain aspects about that that uh, a notary is involved with. Um, it has to do with who the witnesses are. It has to do with being disinterested in the individual who's signing it. So please do that. But more importantly, um, think about these kind of conversations when you're with your family. Uh, you don't want these questions to come up in a time of emergency when you can't speak, you can't tell anybody what you want. Uh, we've had um, um, clerical hospital people tell us that this is the worst time in people's lives and that families can be torn apart by not knowing what an individual's wishes might be in an emergency circumstance. One child will say, I know mama did not want to be this way and be sustained. Another child will say, I never heard that. And the heartache and the sorrow that comes and the divides in family is sometimes more than uh, any pastor or any spiritual leader or any you know reading that you can a book that you can pick up can ever heal so have that conversation and I'm talking about 18 year olds 20 year olds 30 year olds we never know when that life-changing incident is going to take place, whether it's actually medical, whether it's a, an accident, automobile, on the job, something like that. This is a conversation, a conversation of love to have with your family. So while we're getting into this holiday season and, and progressing through December, you'll be with a lot of family members. This is a time when these conversations are best to take place, and we encourage you to uh, look at the website, listen, look at the most frequently asked questions uh, so that you can understand the backgrounds of these documents, where they're found if somebody asks you about them, uh, and the notaries well. So I want everybody to have a good holiday season, lots of good family time, eat a lot of good food. You know, North Carolina is number one in the kinds of things that we eat at the holiday season, turkey, sweet potatoes. Uh, we just lead the nation in, in both of those products. We're also, I think, number two in pork, so I can't sit your, set your Thanksgiving or Christmas table, holiday table, without North Carolina products. So let's thank our farmers, let's have good family holiday time, and I wish all of you the best this holiday season.